I have my grandson Joseph here to show him how 35 years of dedicated service and a thirst for knowledge and a sincere desire to give my clients the best service inspired me to do this. Well, first of all, we believe that, you know, knowledge is power. However, there is no substitute for experience. And I think with all the years that I've gone through it, experience really has taken me to the point where I'm able to show you how to do the same thing. One thing you should note, and that's that baby boomers are the fastest growing demographic populace in the history of the world. Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, the numbers are astounding, Joe, and mathematically the costs are also astounding. Thrifty Union Financial Management. Well, what happened on October 10th, 2008? What did happen, Grandpa? Well, you have to understand that we have to go back to 1965 when all the baby boomers, or approximately all of them, started working. And we look at what I call a pyramid. And the pyramid includes taxes, health care, Social Security, housing, investment, savings, retirement, and even us. Everything in that pyramid is called what we call a commodity. And this pyramid uh, also includes us as a generation. Now, in 2008, when the pyramid tipped was when the financial markets and the financial entities collapsed. It tipped almost 10 years in advance. We should have been somewhere around here where the arrow is, and actually it tipped over to about there. Um, printing of trillions of dollars of the Treasury uh, helped us shore it back up. But did it? Or was this irreversible? Some years from now, five boomers will be collecting from the system. We know one thing, and that is someday it will look like this. One person supporting many people asking for help. At which point will the system fail? Will it be five years, 10 years, 15 years? This is the greatest de dilemma for our generation. The most dangerous segment in the future. Hmm. Our family trying to get ahead while helping two other families, children and parents. And Joe, that may be you. Because you're not only your mother's generation, you're your next generation past them. Interesting. With government already attacking Social Security and Medicare, will anything be there for us in the future? We developed a number of ways to help you cope with this new age. Because no one lives forever, someday I'll have to pass this knowledge and experience on to another person. Who will that be? In the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, uh, you can look at my email address and ask me questions like this. Eventually, someone who cares for others, like I do, will succeed me. Uh, this, po this person will be the real millionaire because they love people more than money. Most people spend more time planning their yearly vacation than they do planning their future. Bad idea. I guess that I have it all planned. The question is, how well planned are you? Planning is the only answer. And planning involves possibly several people. But in most cases, I can do the biggest part of it for you. The financial planning professional will be a person qualified to organize and direct your team to your benefit. However, you are the decision maker. We have many different types of programs to help many different types of people. Our first step in the process is to get to know you. What are your goals? What do you hope to obtain from our relationship? The difference between a poor man and a rich man are goals. To become a millionaire, you must set goals. To get anywhere in life, you must set a definitive course. Do you know that, Joe? No, I didn't. And that's real important. It's the first thing in your future. So it's important to start planning while you're young. Oh, absolutely. 
Now I'll go through a, 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 what the financial analysis actually comes out. Now this is an analysis. This is not a plan. This is what happens after we get to know you. By filling out the forms that will be at the back of this uh, uh, web page, uh, you will be able to send it in and we will be able to tell you how much it will cost to be able to do your particular plan. Since the plans are made for different types of people, they're not only for uh, the working poor, which is the middle class now, they're also for the rich people too. Everyone needs to make a plan. Everybody needs to set a course. Uh, of course, there will be assumptions and you're going to tell us what your, um, you know, your name and, <laughs> and your ages and stuff like that. Next, of course, it will be goal evaluation. When we get to the goals, the first people I will create a plan for are those whose primary goal is savings. We'll show your cash flow summary and where you're starting from. We'll tell you your current situation and that includes a lot of the legal stuff, will, trust and things like that. You'll tell us if you've done those things. Then you'll tell us what you've got in assets. That's important to us because we're going to do an actual psychological evaluation to see if where you're at is really something that will make you sick or if where you're at is something you can live with. It will show your current financial asset allocation and then after the psychology test it will show you where you actually should be. Investment planning. It'll go through a lot of interesting uh, fields in this investment planning scenario. Uh, it'll tell you, give you a lot of information, uh, and it'll help you uh, determine what market risk and diversification is. Investment planning returns and the power of compounding. We'll talk about that in your financial analysis. Then we're going to go into retirement. Then we're going to forecast what your expenses are going to be. The resources you have for retirement because in the end what we want you to do is plan, plan, plan for retirement. Remember that we showed you uh, that people are living much longer today and because of that uh, they need to plan a lot further ahead with a lot more money for retirement. We'll give you a summary of it. Then we're going to do an extra little thing that you've never had done for you before. We're going to do what's called a Monte Carlo simulation. What that is, is we're going to take your data and we're going to reanalyze it 10,000 different ways. Retirement capital analysis, what if? We're going to put a couple of what ifs in there too. And we're also going to do another 10,000 different ways. We're going to give you your current situation and what the estimates are. We're going to analyze your insurance summary and see if it's adequate or not adequate. We're going to talk a little bit about long-term care, but not a lot. Just remember, the longer you live, the more your chances are becoming disabled. Then we're going to go past you. As a matter of fact, we're going to go all the way past your death and start with estate planning. We're going to give a flow chart, your current situation flow chart, who dies first, who dies next. Alternative situation, da da. And then a summary of everything. And then we're going to give you a definite handwritten. Uh, or not handwritten, but typed out summary of what your best bet to do is to start getting on track. So that's what we're going to do for you for a very low cost. But you must fill out the financial analysis questionnaire first because without that, remember, it's all about you. It's not about me. Gosh, Grandpa, this has been really interesting. I'm going to go home right now and start setting some goals.